be round Yeah, you all wanna be round Round a champion, a champion I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in yeah, that's how I roll I got change to throw out on Hey guys, welcome back to my channel And for all of you lucky people who are going on airplanes Dealing with the airport or going somewhere on an airplane for spring break, or basically any reason you would happen to be going on an airplane, airplane, or being at an airport, these life hacks are for you. Okay, so today's video is going to be life hacks for airports and airplanes and everything involved in the travel atmosphere. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Life hack number one that seems to be one everyone forgets last minute, but is one of the most important ones. Wear sandals to the airport because then you can slip them on and off in um, security checks, everything. It's, it's real nice. And if you get TSA pre-check, that's like a freaking hallelujah because then you're wearing your sandals and you don't even have to take them off. So I recommend Burks. Or any other sandals, Burks all the way. I'm a Burke lover. Life hack number two. If you also struggle from the pain of motion sickness, or you get really sick when turbulence happens, first of all, pop a drum, 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 Something along that line. Pop one of those that like makes motion sickness go away. Life hack number three. Book a morning flight because the ground is less warm on the in the morning. So, that means there's less likely to be turbulence and less likely to be a thunderstorm. So you'll have less turbulence, so you shouldn't get as sick. Life hack number four, also if you get sick, if you sit on the wings, you are less likely to get sick. It is proven statistically. I don't know if this is true, but apparently statistically you're less likely to get sick because you're on the most like stable and buoyant part of the aircraft, so yeah. Life hack number five is to buy a crazy suitcase. I know you guys are all judging me right now, but when I'm walking through the airport, ain't nobody gonna have the same bag as me. Like, let's be honest, no one's gonna have this bag. Buy a crazy suitcase. Actually, this is a carry-on. That's my next life hack, but this is a carry-on. Buy a crazy print or a different color. Don't buy black or red. Everybody tends to have black or red or gray. Buy something that's gonna stand out. And also along the lines, so number six about standing out, buy a color. I'm gonna try not to expose my address and everything about me. Okay, along the lines of that, buy a crazy bag tag. So this is my crazy bag tag. So yeah, I have this crazy suitcase and this crazy bag tag with my address on it and all of our information. That is just so in case if we, my bag does actually get lost, it is known who to find it back to. I can easily pick out which one nine is because of the monkey and the crazy print. So it's simple. If hack number seven, the easiest way to lose your bag is by checking your bag. So if you just bring a carry-on like this one, this is a carry-on, this is the right requirement. If you just bring a carry-on, you're bringing it with you the whole time and it's always with you on the plane and there's no way of losing it in between it going into the airport, out to the airport, into your airplane, out of the airplane, into the airport and like all this crazy traveling from place to place to place to place to place, it's bound to get lost. But if you only bring a carry-on, A, you don't have to pay for it, B, it's not gonna get lost. And on most aircrafts or air or most planes, you are able to bring a carry-on and a personal item. Yeah, I think. Wow, I probably should have researched that. I know for sure on Delta you are, you're allowed to bring a personal item and a carry-on. So you can bring a carry-on with all your clothes and you can bring a personal item. I usually bring a backpack because it just makes life so easy. Okay, so life hack number nine is to sign up for an airline credit card like the ones on the screen. We have one, but I don't want to show it because all of our information is out there. You feel? Yeah, I feel. Okay. So, the certain one we have is every dollar you spend gets you a mile. So if you spend $500, you get 500 miles, which means you're basically getting free freaking flights. So go buy all your groceries and everything you need with this. Free money, free flying miles, you know? Life hack 11, bring an empty water bottle. This is the freaking best hack I can give you. So, you can't bring a filled up water bottle through security, but why would you pay $20 for one on the other side? Like. No, no, no. So bring an empty water bottle, then once you get through security, fill it up and you have water for on the plane, 
without having to pay for it. I mean, technically you're paying for the plane ride, so technically you're paying for using the water in the airport, but you, you get the gift. Life hack number 12, bring your own snacks to the airport because you don't wanna pay for food at the airport if you have to sit there for a long time. And if your plane gets delayed, even if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm only gonna be at the airport for like an hour, I'm not gonna be hungry. What if your plane gets delayed and you don't wanna spend like $40 on a freaking cheese sandwich? Like, I freaking agree. Life hack number 13 is a little strange and it's based on statistics. So it says if you hate waiting in line or you're in a rush to make your flight, research shows that most people are right-handed and tend to turn right first. So do the opposite and go left. Go to the furthest checkpoint to the left. Because people are right-handed so they tend to go to the right lane. So if you pick the furthest to the left, you're more, you're more likely to get through it faster. I mean, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I think that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, so life hack 14 is to wear your baggiest clothes because obviously I don't want to be packing this in my suitcase because this is a giant super long coat. So if I wear this to the airport, I can easily undo it. I can use this as a pillow. I can just have it over my lap if I get cold. It's a quite, it's a quite nice life hack. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be quite honest. It's a nice life hack. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. You can subscribe somewhere. You can watch my two latest videos over here. So, um, YouTube's been doing this cool, crazy thing where, like, it looks restricted, so I can't see where any of my things are. So, like, they're, like, I think the subscribe button's actually here and my videos are over here, but, like, I don't know. But I think with that, I'm gonna say I love y'all. Bye!